Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities in Miniatures, and look what just showed up. That's right, I've got the new Riot Quest Wintertime Wasteland single player starter set. And why is it single player? Because it actually gives you a full complete team. So if you have the first Riot Quest starter set, you can pit them against these guys. Well, other than the fact that you've got, you know... Wait, no, Black Belt was an expansion care. I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. Anyway, I'm really excited to get this. I've been a big fan of Privateer's model design for many years, and I just really don't have the time or patience to do big scale war games. I like smaller size stuff. So I do really dig the aesthetics here, and it's kind of this crazy fantasy post-apocalyptic thing going on. So let's give it a look. Okay, first of all, this is not the same kind of box. Okay, that's a bit surprising. I like my first box. All right, we've got bags of Parmesan cheese again. No, these are actually the models. That's a really weird way of doing it. I get it saves money, but I'm just kind of mystified by it. All right, dice look the same as the previous season. Uh, pile of cards. Good old Boom Howler. Now what's interesting is that is a different Boom Howler. This is the original Boom Howler that was part of Season 1 with his big old gun. And I haven't bothered to put it together yet, so might as well do that while I'm at it. And you know what? I'm going to bust out a bunch of models that I had actually started to do a video on and then I never got around to finishing it. So we'll, we'll take a look at that too. Okay, we have one, two, three... Four, five, five bags, and I don't know. Just so weird with the wax paper. All of your tokens. Looks like it's on a single sheet. A paper map. I'm not the biggest fan of that, but it is what it is. They do offer up all the cloth ones, and then the actual rule book along with a gallery of everybody that will be coming along and I just now realized it's kind of dark in here and I that's because I didn't turn on the lights Duh. okay so the top five are people who are actually in this box and then we have Bumbles the bear in armor uh, give me enough time you will see bulkhead on the channel at some point or another in the near future along with stone lord gavolgador the others i'm not as keen on the rule set actually is pretty simple um it's not super complex you get a little character bio in the back explanations on how to activate and do everything in the game terminology i'm gonna have to compare this when i have some free time to the rule book for the first season i actually did end up teaching myself how to play and did a couple of practice rounds i have yet to actually get a game in with a human opponent besides myself that's assuming i'm human i guess so all right let's take a look at what's in these things i'm curious about what's in all these little wax baggies Why am I saying, like, oh, let's save the paper. No, okay, dice, well. Were these, I think, weren't these supposed to be like bonuses for the Kickstarter? I can't remember now. I think so. And then we have little character cards with everybody's backstory on there. Along with a little handy dandy Cheat sheet, which is a shame that there's not two of those included. It's always nice, but I guess we can just pass it back and forth. I kind of remember most of it. Not everything. It's been a while. All right, let's see what's in the first bag. Now, I'm assuming that all of the components are going to be metal. I, I could be wrong. But this is mass marketed, so I'm assuming that's probably going to be the case. Okay, this is Ystilla. Her messed up looking face thing there. Okay, that's where the thought it was a headdress, and it's not even on the screen. It's a 
kind of sort of okay can't remember the name of the elves the northern ice ones it's been a while all right Interesting. I'm noticing that they're all kind of color-coded, so I'm guessing that's how they figured out how to bag everything up. Smart! Alright, this looks like Close Combat Boom Howler. And I want to say, and I could be wrong, maybe you guys know better than me, but everybody in the game should have rules for getting used in a regular game of War Machine or Hordes. Check out the, the shoulder pad. It looks like he's wearing... Isn't it like a Signar light jack? And that is absolutely, when it stays in focus, a Kador symbol. What else you got going on? A carton. Along with beer. And a treasure chest. And I'm assuming that's a Signarian shield with the eagle. I could be wrong. Oh, I was like, are those ears? No, they're rune stones. The troll can always carry those around. Okay, you're gonna be a fun one to paint. I wish it was resin. I like their resin stuff. Impenetrable wax bag! Oh my god, why don't you want to rip open? It's shivers! Shivers! Yeah, it's a baby, what are they, the Gorax? If I remember correctly. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, here's Boom Howler's body and shivers. Fair fight, right? All right? This is a heavy one. Who is this? I'm gonna guess Yuri. You used to be Yuri the Axe, and now you are Yuri the Hunter. This is right up my alley. Big, hairy, furry barbarian with that a bear's head on the back? I wonder if he's wearing like a trollkin bear. Or is it a pig? I can't tell. I'm going to spray these before I put them back on camera. So you guys get a good look. And this must be so cool, Black Bella. What you got going on, Bella? Alright. Definitely nice and thick parts. These for the main body. Or... Whip sword like IV from Soul Calibur. Other leg. Other uh, hand. Does she have all her fingers? I hope. And then her owl friend that's going to sit on her shoulders. Nope, on her arm. Okay. Well, I'm going to get all this built. I'm going to grab the other models I've got laying around. And we'll show you all of this Riot Quest stuff I got. And then we'll grab a couple of the painted models while we're at it. And hopefully we'll get to play it with another person in the near future. Fingers crossed. All right, sit tight. All right, we cleaned up our models for our winter wasteland. And got everybody all set with some bases here. Why don't we take a nice, good look. Here we got Yuri. I got to say, I really like Yuri's sculpt here. He's thick. He's big and quite detailed. I think once he is primed, did I say I was going to prime them? Well, I obviously have to prime them, but I think he's going to look great, especially with my penchant for wanting to paint barbarians all the time. Here we have the new Boom Howler. Personally, I wish that rather than doing Boom Howler again, that it would have been a different troll blood, trollkin, whatever you want to call him. I can't remember everybody's names anymore. Borka. Was it Borka Kegslayer? That was the one I always liked. Should have put him in instead. Wee! We've got our Niss Mage here.
cooperate with me here and give you alcohol. Our Black Bella version 2, much like Yuri, she is a thick model, almost too thick. She does not want to stand up right now. Obviously, she's going to get glued on. That should help. But I'm going to wait till I can actually get everything painted in there, and then we will do that. I was really worried about the bird, but I thought the bird wouldn't be problematic in keeping her standing up. thought it'd be in the way. I feel like the Blood Bowl star player with his eagle. Okay, that might work better. No, doesn't seem to be an issue. And then finally we have our little buddy here. Bink! <laughs> So originally I was kind of like, well, this looks kind of sad in comparison to the original box sets lineup, but you know what, let's get the original lineup out. So for the original lineup, we only have one regular size model, and she, what's her name, Aris? She's kind of thin. And then we have two shorty guys, Bamfist and, I forget the goblin's name off the top of my head. And then we have our bazooka lady, who while she is on a bigger base, isn't all that thick. And then finally our storm knight as well. Big base, but quite thin. Whereas I look at Black Bella and Yuri and even Boomhaller, and the models themselves are a lot bulkier, I feel. So while it may look a little sad with her little snuffles or whatever his name is there, uh, overall... I gotta say, it's a pretty comparable set. But again, I'm still kind of annoyed about the fact that we have two characters that already have models in the game. To me, that was kind of silly. Speaking of models, there is the original version of Boomhaller for this game. And I have not even taken a look at the stats, but I'm going to assume they're substantially different. And while we're at it, here is the original Black Bella. I still like this model. I, I haven't compared the stance or style of how they play, but to me it seems almost like a bit of a missed opportunity to have these as completely separate characters, because I would imagine you can only have one of every named character, so having two, even though they have different stats, different abilities, different models, it seems kind of a silly thing to do. But it's not my game and I'm not in charge, so I really shouldn't complain too much. Uh, other than that, I gotta say, I was a bit dismayed with the quality of the box. I really like the first Riot Quest starter sets box. Everything fits in there neat and nice. So I ended up actually taking everything from this new game and putting it in the old box, and along with the maps and everything. And I have a habit of using old... I shouldn't say they're old. They're really not that old. Uh, Conquest resin character boxes for like all the various cards. These aren't them because they're put away, but they're great for holding cards of various stuffs. So if you are in need, it's a nice little storage bonus, plus Conquest has cool models as well. So overall, I, I like what I've seen so far. The only, I guess, kind of disappointing thing is we already know everything else that's coming with this season because, well, it was already previewed in the Kickstarter, but considering it's more than likely we will see a third... Was it a third? No, the first wasn't Kickstarted, was it? I don't even remember. Well, we'll probably see another Kickstarter for when the time comes to have a third season. My hope is that we see more Scorn. We only saw one so far, but just about every other race, class, unit type, solo, what have you, in the Iron Kingdoms, has had a chance to show up in this game. But personally, this is my own quest. I want a re-sculpted Tyrant Xerxes. That, that's something that I've wanted for many, many years. And when we first started seeing re-sculpts of some of the important war casters, I had my fingers crossed that I would finally have a Xerxes that wasn't hunched over playing the drums on the floor with his giant baseball bat, mallet hammer, bat things. But we'll see. I shouldn't get my hopes up, should I? But fingers crossed nonetheless. 
So if you are in the mood for something different, something unique looking, and still has that very distinct privateer press style, I cannot help but recommend Riot Quest. It's just going to be a matter of making sure you have enough models for both yourself and your opponent. Otherwise, it is a nice little game. But considering uh, how the competition keeps jacking up the prices, it might become one of my more go-to games, especially if we ever get to play in person again. And by the time that ever comes around, these guys are going to be all painted up anyways. With that said, this has been Highlord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures, saying thanks for watching, and we will see you back here soon. Bye-bye.